troops. Another day, another drain. Glorious morning. Blowing a gale. a few spots up there. Let's get this done. And it looks like we might be in. Oh, it's off. Struck too soon. Day for Jack, but oh. first one of the day, little one. Nice little Jack to start the day off. Let's hope there's more where that came from. We go, let's put her back safely. Oh, it's quite low, Dad. If I get anything bigger, I have to walk all the way down there, but 
she's small enough to come on get the right way ah, I look at her she's dead it keen to go go on then girl and away she goes right let's run through the setup with you <laughs> look at my coffee tin I'm fishing legends dead baits today as always really I, I, I don't change much that it works for me have a leisure boon float so that stands up in the water like that and then I have my trace everything's red high vis have my trace which I'm gonna have to change in a second because it doesn't matter whether you catch them big or small a bit of that trace there's damaged so it might only just be the coating but I don't risk it so on there was half mackerel which is going to go back on and back out in the same spot the line I use a lot of, I know a lot of people use braid and it's got some fantastic properties but I use this Fox soft steel camo line 23 pound rock solid never let me down on anything I fish for whether that be pike catfish whatever rods I'm a bit of a Jesse I have to have cork handles I don't know a bit of a poser I suppose but there's something about cork it reminds me of your childhood I suppose so that's what I use real die with black widows well morning troops all set up now it's quite breezy on the weather forecast they would say bright and breezy <laughs> but up here where it's flat as a pancake in the fence it's blowing a gale I'm, I'm in a swim I'm tucked out of the wind on this side but I've seen it chop here, you know, I mean it's not it's not uncomfortable fishing, it's not blowing me bobbins around too much. Just a, every now and then you get slight wavering. But I mean look at that lovely sky up there. It's a lovely day to be out. I've had one fish. A jack. So I'm pleased already. I mean I've only been fishing in that, less than an hour. I've had one fish. I'm going to stick this swim out only for a couple of hours today I'm not going to I don't think I'm going to be sticking in one swim all day like I normally do I mean if it's producing you know I mean it's like anything your plan's always fluid you know if, if this starts producing and I start catching decent fish I'll stay but if by quarter past 11 oh thank you my eye if by quarter past 11 I haven't managed to crack a decent fish out of here there's a swim down there don't want to try out there's also a swim right behind me as well a couple of hundred meters well more than that probably about half a mile down this drain there's a swim I've been meaning to try for years never tried it so I might give that a go if that doesn't work out a couple of more hours then I'll she'll move again come along the opposite bank here fish a swim further up you know so my plans are today to try and catch a few move around a bit I mean don't get me wrong <laughs> with my old knees it's, I'd, ra I'd rather see sit put wait for them to come to me but I don't mind moving around I don't mind being proactive you know you, if you want to catch fish you've got to put in the hard work they don't you know they don't always land in your lap so that's the plan for the day it looks like it's going to be bright most of the day a bit of cloud just so I like it really not too cold not too warm so the pike play ball seems to be a lot less blowy than this morning already maybe the winds dropped off a bit with that cloud cover and if I don't catch here I'm going to be heading down that way towards the pump house try a swim out there I've been meaning to try as I said earlier that's the that's the little reed bed sticking out there at the end of this swim where I've got bait presented 
got sardine dead bait six seven foot off that far bank and then I've got a float fished mackerel head down the end of the swim Well, I made the move, all set up, it's a two rod swim, it's quite tight, you can see how steep the banks are, and here we go by it. So, as I was rudely interrupted, like I said it's a two rod swim really, it's, you know, the banks are really steep and treacherous. Let me float, I can put it either over there or close to the bridge or under that far bank tree. I've got all this water here for one dead bait rod on the ledger. You can see how steep the banks are, but I've got two very safe walks down. To each rod so as long as <laughs> as long as I'm careful I shouldn't go arse over elbow I've, I've fished this swim before the one I wanted to fish is through there but the water level is low now and it's a four foot drop to the from the bank to the water level impossible for someone my age <laughs> plus fish safety of course so yeah we're, sort of, we're all set up we've had a run didn't land it but we had a run within not even five minutes so let's do this they see me earlier struggling with an umbrella just wanted it up for a windbreak really so while we're up here in this swim you know if the wind sand gets too loud oh, I do apologize but it's it's a blowy day, there's no way I can sit down there, there's nowhere, there's nowhere even to, I mean, there's brambles and everything, so you can't even sit on the grass, so. But I say, I've got two easy routes down to each rod, I've had a run already, so hopefully the change 
will prove worthwhile. Sometimes you've just got to make a decision whether it's the right one or the wrong one. A wrong decision is better than no decision. We had a we had a jack down there that I wasn't very confident. That's twice I fished that swim. I've caught before on a video titled Blank Saver. I'll leave the title in the description, you know, link in the description there for you. But wind nearly blew the camera out of my hand. So yeah, we're all set up. Oh, it's hard work. I mean, it looks bleak, but I think it's quite warm. So worked up a bit of a sweat moving. So I'm going to uh, unwind with a cup of coffee and hopefully catch a few pike. Here we go. It's a rubber. Jack, so I'm going for the rubberized net, that's why I've walked over here. Gonna get it in the specimen net for you. Oh, it's only on one one hook. I'm not taking the banks with any confidence. Okay. 
Not going to take it, is it? Not going to take it up the bank. Oh, calm down. Yeah, you're going back a little then. You're going back. Oh, look at him. I looked him by hand. <laughs> he, don't, he don't want to be handled. Another little one, baby. Four runs in here, two jacks. Let's get it back. Oh! Going the wrong way, little one. There you go. Well, I've decided to stay as you can tell. I had another run. Got a little surprise for you. Ah, uh, all bubbers. <laughs> They're all babies. <laughs> uh, better than hey, better than working. <laughs> I, had a out here uh, I mean, it's been fishing well this what autumn so I was hoping for a bit better but I'm happy catching fish <laughs> there you go just as a surprise another jack well that's the end of that chapter I enjoyed myself today without catching anything too big and it's half past five now quarter to six That's the stretch. You can see how steep the banks are. I've been up and down them all day. Scant reward, but <laughs> you never know. Still a bit of daylight left. So we might catch.